Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this killer clown makeup look. I'm just laying a white base on my face. I'm using aqua makeup for this tutorial just because I want a rugged look for my clown. I'm using cream white makeup just on my eyelids and then to blend out a little bit my cheekbones so that they'll be a little bit brighter. And then I'm just using white eyeshadow to set everything. I'm using white powder to set that cream makeup. You do not have to powder aqua makeup. I'm just picking up some black eyeshadow on a flat brush and I'm just starting to slowly define where my eyes are gonna go. And then I'm using some more cream paint just to block out the eyebrows a little bit more. You can also just block them completely. Going back to that black eyeshadow and just further defining the line. And I'm carving out the shape of the eyes before I am filling in the rest. And this is simply so that if I do make a mistake, I don't have to clean up that much. And it's also easier to keep everything symmetrical when you can see the lines. And now I'm just filling everything in once I'm happy with the shape. And I am keeping my eyelid a little bit lighter than the rest. This is gonna create some definition in the look. I'm bringing the eyeshadow shape into the inner corner so that I prepare to connect it to the wrinkles I'll paint on later. And I'm making sure to bring that eyeshadow over my eyebrows. These are the brushes I'm going to use to create all the wrinkles. And I'm starting with the wrinkles in my forehead. I'm making sure not to over apply the pigment. Just so that I always have control over how much I apply and how hard the wrinkles are. So I'm pretty much using the thinnest brush to distribute the product. And then I'm using the other brushes to blend it out. I'm trying to create a very angry expression, so do squeeze up your own face and see where your wrinkles go. And now I'm adding even more frowning to my look. And you can see I'm here also applying some wrinkles over where my eyebrows should have been. And now I'm basically just adding wrinkles where I would have gotten it if I were frowning. And I'm carving out my cheekbones and I'm also adding some forehead lines. And I'm also adding wrinkles underneath my eyes. Everything of this is going to be more blended in once we start carving out the cheekbones and accentuating those a little bit more. But they do add some definition to the look. And I am just also defining my nose a little bit so that it will stand out and not be so flat with a white base. After I placed all my lines, I'm just making sure to deepen and blend in everything so it looks more realistic. I'm still using that black eyeshadow that I used around my eyes. I did apply a tad bit too heavily around the mouth, so later in the video I am actually blending this down a little bit, so you don't have to apply just as much as I am doing. So here I'm just creating my chin a little bit more pointy than it naturally is, 
So I'm making sure to create a circle around it and then blending it in so that it looks natural. And fixing that contour and then just powdering everything down and now I'm starting to carve out my cheekbones. It's all about creating those overly round apple cheeks. So in this look, it's quite a messy, dirty look. So blend it up with whatever you got, your fingers, your brush, whatever you find the best, as long as it is blended, but it's not perfectly. And as you can see, I'm also applying contour to the top of my cheeks to create that rounded effect. I'm using a big brush to blend everything in, and this is also gonna blend in the under eye wrinkles a little bit. And then I'm just adding some contour to my temples to make them look a little bit more sunken in. And now I'm just defining the under eyes and creating some bags. And now I'm going over to the other cheek and doing the same process as I did before. Lastly, I'm adding some grey to my overlip to blend it in. And now going over with red aqua paint, I'm just filling in my nose and lips. This is the finished look. Thank you for watching all the way through and I hope you like it and please tag me if you do decide to recreate this. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the rest of the Blacktober and give this video a like if you liked it. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye!